Greetings YouTube friends. I'm making this video to help those who have problems with their air manifold. This manifold's off of a 2013 Freightliner Cascadia. And uh, this is under the hood and this is where all the air that runs in and out of your cab goes through this manifold. It actually mounts from the inside of the cab like this against this foam gasket right here as you all can see. And uh, uh, I'm making this video because this part was around $200 and then to have them put it in was about uh, three to four hours which is another you know $400 or more when in reality all that was wrong in mine was inside this little unit this little uh, quick connect air unit here and so I bought this unit so that I'd have it and then I dug in to see if there wasn't another way to fix this without totally changing the manifold and sure enough there was what was wrong was inside this was your main air connection inside this there is a little o-ring so I took and and uh, grabbed a hold of this and and uh, pulled a little bit and it's a little caught right now I'll turn it a little and see if it frees up and this is no fun to do with one hand um, I tried this one earlier and it worked a little easier. Oh, there it comes. All right. So if you'll look, there is a brass taper right there. All right. And we're going to put that down. And inside of the hole that came out of, um, there is an O-ring. You can kind of see it. Let me grab one of my little picks that I made out of a, out of a, a paper clip. Well, let's see if we can find where we're at here. There we go. That O-ring is right there. So now let me see if using this I can get it out of there. So we are going to poke this, of course I'm making a shadow with my hand, so let's try putting a light on it. Alright, let's <laughs> try one, we're going to poke that down in there. See if we can fish that o ring out, and I've got it. There we are. And we're just gonna do that little pull, and there it is. You see that o ring popped right out of there? All right, let my camera calm down a little bit here now with this o-ring out I'm gonna zoom back now you can see that little o-ring came out of there I'm gonna set it right there see that little o-ring that was no big deal I went to uh, Ace Hardware and bought one of these o-rings I think was 30 cents so once I fished it out um, the old one and I have it right here was color coded don't worry about the the color of yours being black they color coded it for convenience this was the o-ring that came out and you can see how that it is cracked and had worn grooves in it and that's why it was no longer working and then of course it split so while this was still in the truck I didn't remove it I got my daughter to help me because she had skinny hands and could get back next to my uh, between the front steer tire and change this and so uh, uh, she helped me but basically I had to find my o-ring there we go basically all you need to do is get an o-ring be careful pulling this piece out don't get over aggressive I just used my finger and thumbnail under here and wiggled and wiggled and wiggled and it came out. 
So get your new O-ring, put it in that hole, press it in, give it a little press, um, and then take your brass quick connect fitting, put it back over the top. Feels like I didn't quite get my O-ring in. So I'm going to need to uh, get it in a little bit better. So I'm going to take my little tool I made from a paper clip, push one side in. Let's see if I can get doing this. All right, let's start over. Push one side in. It goes in easy that way. Then push the other, oh, it fell right in. Did you see that? Put one side of the O-ring down in and then the other. Then take your little brass fitting, put it over the top and just wiggle it and it'll pop right in. Good as new. Hopefully this will save you some money. Um, you'll notice that that one was brass. The brass ones seem to have the O-rings. Plastic ones do not. I have a big plastic one that I had to change off my air tank right here and I already have the part taken out of it. So you can see this part was plastic instead of brass. The ones on here have a little plastic color code thing on them, but they are brass. This plastic one doesn't work like that. It is somehow compressed in here by this ring, but there is no O-ring in there. And I already took this one apart because it was very difficult to take apart and I knew I wouldn't be able to do it one-handed. All right, here's another example of an air quick connect right here. This one is brass, so it will have an O-ring in it. And I'm going to just wiggle it. Oh, that one came out very easily. I wiggled it, and if you look in there carefully, um, there is a little O-ring in there, sure enough. And uh, I'll see if I can shine a light down in there enough that you can see it maybe not there see the green that is the little o-ring in there so you would just take the tool like I made here out of a paper clip you can see the little hook in it right there right there and put it down in there twist it 90 degrees underneath the o-ring and gently pull it out so the brass one seemed to be able to be fixed the uh, here's another example of uh, one that I had that had plastic uh, uh, pieces instead of brass and uh, that one was broken that's why I had to change this but it uh, uh, I would there's no o-ring in there so what you could actually do though is buy a new one of these and just pull the new one out and replace the one that's cracked and it would continue to work just fine so on plastic ones you replace this piece okay be gentle getting it out you don't want to hurt the fingers that are inside the quick connect see if I can get that to stay right there so I can kind of show you there are some fingers in there and you've got to wiggle that back and forth and gently pull it out whereas these brass ones um, the fingers are on them see the little splits so as you gently work it out, it will come out and then the O-ring sets against that bottom right there. So you can change that and uh, hopefully this will save you uh, a good amount of money and give you the option of uh, just repairing what's really broke, which is that little O-ring and not buy this part that's $200, $200. That is all of the air in and out of your cab that ends up running your brakes, um, uh, everything. All goes through these quick connects. Um, right here is where all your low air valves and all those kind of things would thread in. That's the inside. I'll give you a shot of that. And then this is the outside to the engine compartment to things going in and out. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments, please leave them below. I try and answer all the comments. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, please give it a thumbs down. And, and uh, I'm always anxious to hear what I could have done better. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. God bless you.